Hi guys, yeah, here I am in beautiful Epping Forest. Let me just scan around for you. See how beautiful it is. And that's what I love about photography. You get to see different places. There's never any place that I've found boring. It's so inspiring. And here in Epping Forest, there's so much nature. It's peaceful, it's quiet. But what I, and you get to travel. As I've met, already said, travel everywhere. But what I hate about traveling with my photography sometimes is the amount of weight I have to carry on my backpack. You've got cameras, spare cameras, microphones, but the biggest burden of all is really the tripod. If you don't get the right tripod, you are really in trouble. You need a tripod that's basically sturdy, flexible, lightweight and small. And that's a rare combination. I mean, it shouldn't be, given all the in, uh, investment in new products that's going on. I mean, you open up any page of a photography magazine and you'll see nothing, well not nothing, but you'll be inundated with photography, gear adverts and reviews. So, with that in mind, I'm going to look at a new tripod. It's from Vanguard. It's from the Vea range. It's a 235A travel tripod. And I'm also going to be look at a very special bag I mean I love this bag but sometimes when you're not going out too far and you're not traveling the boy and you just want to go with minimal gear you don't always want to take my heavy backpack which is something I've done for a long time so let's take this heavy gear off oh. and let's start with the review right guys so I'm gonna put this gear down and have a look at the new tripod now this one's pretty heavy and that's part of the reason why I really want to look for a tripod that's lighter I do have one but sometimes when I want something really sturdy I have to go for this guy anyway let's put this down right so today's offering is from Vanguard it's the travel tripod is from the Vanguard Veo range it's the 235 AB travel tripod now let me just show you I've got a couple of products here here it is I've taken it out of the box and this is basically the offering it weighs 1.5 kilo so it's small in size light in weight but let's see what it has to offer because a tripod that offers everything is something that I've been looking for right so here we go it's the Veo 235AB travel tripod from Vanguard right so as you can see the small footprint of the tripod it fits easily but what they do have is a patented flip column quick flip column system now I'm going to show you and it's quite easy basically and you have a little button underneath you clip it and it goes down so that's it I'll show you again simple as that brief second and the column now a lot of tripods what this is enabled not only is it quick but allows you for a smaller size tripod it fits more compact in a bag with the small bag it's not a small bag sorry let me get out small bag but also if you have a, uh, a backpack or any other type of bag this will fit inside now the head the head can come off but there's something special about the head but I'm going to show you how if you do have to remove the head to replace it you can so it offers a lot of options underneath this uh, sort of yellow rubber protection ring there are two grub screws which can be removed you're provided with an allen key so they can be removed but why does Vanguard put a rubber uh, barrier or protection there easy for protection of the tripod paramount it falls which often tripods do there's no damage so much okay so that's that now the legs they have a three sectional uh, Angle, three angles that they can flip out to you have this button here and you click press it once 
goes out to there, press it again, and it goes out 90 degrees. Now obviously, if you do that with all the legs, you're gonna have the facility of really shooting low. That's excellent. That's what you, well that's what I want. I'm gonna say what I want. I think that's a good feature of this tripod because it allows you to get as low as possible. You want to do macro photography. I mean here in the forest there might be some bugs or a lot of interesting creatures that I want to close up on. By allowing me to do that, because I can take off the column as well, it's quite easy to get down as low as possible. Now I'm going to show you how the column comes off. Vanguard have cleverly thought of the, the situation where as a traveller you want flexibility as I've already mentioned. Now you can take the, the uh, column off, it's quite easy. Let me put down and key down. Right, let me show you again, yeah, let me turn it around. There's a little push button and you just flip off the top. That's like that put that safely away obviously and the column comes out now I'll do that yet because I'm going to show you some other things first before I start dismantling it because I've got some tests to do on it but I will go back to that right let's put this away so one of the key features about this tripod that amazed me is the amount of load I can that you can place on this tripod and it still holds its grip. Now, the main, one of the main reasons why I can do that is because of this orange seal. Now, I'm going to show it to you. Hopefully it will show up on the camera. Right, as you can see, all around the ball head, there's an orange seal, so very high quality rubber seal. Now, what that allows you to do, it not only creates a, a very quiet, smooth, rotation so if you're doing video you're not going to hear any grinding or metal scraping on each other what it also does it gives a fat, amazing grip of the ball head now I'm going to tighten this up and we're going to test it because from their specifications this small footprint of a tripod remember it's a travel tripod can hold up to 6 kg in weight that's over 12 pound in weight now Imagine what sort of camera that can, that's sort of weight would be. It would be a, a, a professional camera, definitely with a hefty lens. Now, so that allows you, I'm tightening everything up, making sure I should, I'm gonna test it to its max. I'm gonna unflip the legs. Now the legs is interesting as well. Let me get, here you can see the uh, four screws. Now a lot of manufacturers, what they do, they they have the screws obviously and it's spring clipped, sorry, spring clipped and four screws. You have, they have the screws when they manufacture but they seal it away behind whatever they do. They don't allow the photographer to have access. Now, I'm, I was an engineer many years ago. I fully understand that after a while anything will come loose or need maintaining. This allows you to have a product that you can maintain, thereby provides longevity for your, it's not a throwaway product, it's something you can keep, you can maintain with the Allen key they provide, and if it does come loose, you tighten it. It's not something you have to throw away and buy another one. So that's important, because you're paying money for something, you wanna make sure you can keep it as long as possible. Right, so this has got four clips, it's a five sectional tripod, five legs and all. Let's put it all up, and now I'm gonna test how strong this ball head really is. So let me just put this out. And the reason why I'm doing that, not because I need to test, do that one test, is because I'm gonna attach a camera slider to it. Now, camera sliders are notoriously heavy. It's just the way they are. And it's very rare, well, I have two tripods out. I showed you one of them. I have to use both tripods to hold my uh, slider still to hold it smooth to get firm footage that is impractical if I want to take my slider with me on travels that's not possible taking a slider two tripods is it'll be just a ridiculous situation for one person what I'm looking for is a slider uh, sorry a tripod that's going to be strong enough to hold a slider normally that would require a video slider 
a video uh, tripod. Now they're again notoriously heavy because they have triple legs, they have a big uh, video head. It's excess weight that I can do with that, especially when you want to carry your stuff on the plane rather than put it in the check-in. So here we go. Let's try the leg. Let's try the head first. Show it to you. Right, 12 kg weight. I'm not an actor, actor so I'm not going to fake it. Right, let's get ready. See, I'm going to try and move this. One, two, three. That hurt like hell. Now that hasn't moved, okay? You could say he's faking it, so let's set it up. I'm now gonna stop this for a minute and just set up the slider so we can uh, carry on from there. Right guys, as you can see, I set up the slide. Now I've put my heavy video head on there. I was gonna put the camera, but unfortunately I was silly and didn't bring the slide. Uh, the, what's it called? This, uh, the plate, the quick release plate for the slide. I was messing around at home and I forgot the package. But I'm going to try it with the camera sitting on there very precariously. And you can see how smooth. Now, this slider is solid metal. It's not some cheap slider. It is really hard and very heavy. And you get a smooth. I was using two tripods to hold it. Try not to drop my camera, but you can see it's holding. Remember, this is only one of the tripods in the very range. This is a travel tripod, it's not specifically designed to hold such a heavy weight to display over a uh, quite a distance. Now, imagine you've got a, a heavy camera and you've got a big lens. This is going to hold it. This is going to hold it. this slider, is solid, it's very heavy, and so is the head and this the carriage. So, and I'll just stuck the camera on there, GH1, I know it's a mirrorless one, but, you know, what can you do? Now, you know that already, you know it's a broken camera. Anyway, no point in trying that trick try. Anyway, that's basically what I'm trying to say. This is a fantastic tripod. If you're looking for something that's small, there's a small footprint, incredibly sturdy, lightweight, 1.5 kg, and flexible. Now, now I've done the two tests, I wanna get back to the tripod. So let me just pause this and we'll carry on. Okay, I've changed the tripod to face a new direction because the sun's coming out. But what else about this tripod? Well, it's got spikes at the bottom, as you would expect, as well as the, you can unscrew it to get the rubber so it doesn't damage floors or spikes far for our side. It's got three controls, so one for the one for the head, ball head, one for the movement, circular movement, and one for the the shaft. Also it has a rubber part here for cold weather. But let's have a look at its head and the quick release plate. This is this tripod, the VO. The 235AB has an Arca Swiss quick release plate. Now what the Arca Swiss quick release plate system is, is a system whereby you adjust it like a vise and you take the plate out. Simple as that. So what that allows is now it's becoming the standard of the industry of tripods. So the quick release plate, if you have several Arca Swiss uh, compatible tripods you know you don't have to and you just want to switch positions or switch things around or you've lost one one quick release plate you know the others will fit because they're all from the same system and it's a very easy system rather than in the past where there, each tripod was propriety, proprietary so you had one plate for one tripod, the second plate might have another one unless you bought the same and you couldn't interchange them. So this is a good way forward. It's an Arca Swiss compatible quick release plate. Okay, so now let's get to some more fun things. I said about the getting as low as possible. So as I already mentioned, you can remove the, the shaft by just unclipping it. Let me just do it this way. So I'll clip it. 
pull the, the small end out, you put that safe, all right? You take this out, I'll oh, tie it down with that. Wait, let me show you again. So, you take, you, let me get my balance, you take that out, put that somewhere safe. And now, Vanguard kindly make sure you have everything in the kit to make it easy for you to be as flexible as possible. Right, let me just put it out for you so you can see. So you can imagine sitting on the sit, just sitting this to the ground. You have a small shaft, separate air part that can fit inside the shaft area and you can sit this as low as possible that's the ground there you go so a lot of flexibility a lot of options lightweight flexible sturdy and a small size in footprint this is the veo 235a i'm gonna now move on to its companion the veo 37 shoulder bag now one second Here we are, put the tripod down for a moment. And here we are. We will go over this in the studios, but I just want to show you what it's like. So here it is. Now, this is made up of, I think they call it ballistic nylon, but it's water weatherproof. Obviously, if there's a heavy storm rat downpour, you're not gonna, it's gonna seep through. But, as you can see, you have a big zip pocket here. And within this zip pocket, there's a, a rain cover, so you protect it. But also within this zip pocket, there's a number of small pockets you can put spare batteries. But there's also a special waterproof area, again, for your SD cards. And the, re the reason why it's good to have specific pockets for specific items sometimes, because you know exactly where they are. You, can, you train yourself you know it's for SD cards, but to put your SD cards in, you want to change it quick, you know where they are, rather than just chucking it in the bag. So that helps train your mind to where you put things. The bag, at the back, it has another large pocket that's closed together by Velcro. At the rear of the bag, on the, on, there's another pocket for more gear. And these zips, I'm going to show you, they have large tags, easy to grip very easy to grip and very easy to handle in all weather it's not going to be cold when it's icy because they're leather right now let's open this we have a bag inside and this come out let me put the tripod bag the bag down now I'm a bit of a klutz sometimes when I go through customs they sometimes ask me to open the bag I open it the lid is closed but it's loose it goes through the uh, x-ray machine I pull my bag in a rush and I've done it twice already pulled all my camera gear out this you see your camera gear in here it fits nicely in the bag and should it ever fall out even with the rain it's double protected you're still protecting it from any, any bumps and any crashes so this is good having a fully sealed pocket but also if you really wanted to you could pull it out and take it with you if you had your bag in the car I just want my camera and lens voila right so what is it like inside first of all it's very nicely made and you have three compartments big enough for your camera remember this is not made for a massive camera with massive lens this is just a light shoulder bag so don't think oh I don't want to take my 15 to 800, I'd be ridiculous, but you know what I mean. Lens. So here are three compartments, lens, battery, flash, or whatever you need. In my case, it would be microphone. That goes in there. But when you put it back in the bay, it doesn't take up the whole space, so you have a, a fairly large area to put other items in. So that's great, that's a great bag. It's got a nice strong strap and let's look at the finer details of this bag, the stitching. 
Stitching is important. My big backpack I have is a Vanguard Uprise 48. I think it's 48, 49. I've taken that to so many countries with, the, I've overloaded it with gear and clothes and it's held strong. There's not even one little tear in it. It's super strong and that's because there's good quality materials and great stitching. You get a cheaper bag with cheap stitching, it'll come out, guaranteed it'll come out after a few months. Stitching is as important as anything else. Right, so what else is about this bag that is special? Well, let me take this out, I'll show you what that is afterwards. Let me show this quite clearly. Right, in this bag you have a pocket at the bottom, at the front I should say. Now this pocket is being designed specifically for your tripods. Now your tripod, let me just, I've got holding an extra bag so, show you right, put it this way the tripod is designed see designed slide in slide out but when it's in there it's closed away I put it on my shoulder that's nice there you go it's nicely tucked away you can carry this around the streets in any country and not shouting out hey look at me I'm a photographer I want to be a target or a victim. No, it's a backpack, it's a shoulder bag, I should say. Nice size, nothing to say necessarily you're a photographer, unless a photographer recognizes it. But a lot of people have side, side bags, sort of um, Korea style bags. But now that the tripod's hidden away, your camera's hidden away, it's a good idea and it's not clunking around and hitting everyone like many bags do where they're loose on the side you feel like it's going to hit someone and you're going to be in a lot of hassle however should you be one of those brave fellows who want to show the world that you're a photographer you can they have straps at the bottom so you can put this tripod in the straps and secure it but then they're the, they are then exposed to elements. No, because Vanguard give you a bag that covers a tripod. So again, it'll be cuffs, uh, strapped underneath. You can tighten it, covered in the bag again. You've got more space in the bag should you want, and it's protected from all the elements. That's what's great. They give you everything you need, rather than just half the stuff and you having to search out for rain covers and everything yourself. That's good. Is there any last things I want to say about this bag? Yes, there is. Having a tri heavy tripod at the bottom of the bag may cause extra uh, stress on the bag at the bottom, but not in this case. They put a reinforced base at the bottom, so your bag, so the weight is not having any impact on the bag, and. You, it's a, again, it's longevity. This is the Veo 37 from Vanguard. And this is the Veo 235A travel tripod from Vanguard with a maximum load of 6 kg. Amazing. Yes, I think it pretty well is. Anyway, I'm Sean. We're gonna go back to the uh, studio with a quick overview and the price and just I'm going to put on the screen the more finer details. Okay, let's say goodbye to Epi Forest and let's go back home. Bye bye. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the little jaunt over to Epi Forest. Well, now we're back in the studio, so let's run over this lovely tripod. It's the Vanguard 235A B travel tripod. It's out of the Veo range, that has loads of uh, tripods in the Veo range. Let me just show you, I don't know if you can see. Let me turn the camera around. Right. You can just go on their website, they give you a whole listing of all the, all the tripods, but for the moment, we're gonna focus on this one. So, excuse me, that's it. Okay, as I mentioned, this is 235 AB travel tripod weighs 1.5 kg in weight not heavy at all it's not too bad but it's made out of strong aluminium alloy 37 centimeters in length and 145 i believe is it let me check 
yes 145 centimeters in height so it, it gives you a good range it gives you a small footprint and a sensible height that you can get when you when you open it fully extended the way Vanguard have managed to keep the footprint size the way it is um, 37 centimeters is by their patented flip up system now that's that's the key to it some trifles I know have a similar system but you have to undo it take the shaft out turn it this is simple and anyone can do it Just flip up close it then you open it and they've also put things in to protect the tripod the rubber uh, seal down there if it drops it's no damage to the tripod and it hides the grub screws so that protects the grub screws from the rust because it's hidden under there but you can it allows you the option to remove the head should you want to but given that this tripod head can hold up to 6 kg that's 12 over 12 pound in weight it's very unlikely that you would want to change the head that's already provided it's small and it's extremely strong I'll just do it again I'll show you well you've already seen it it's not uh, budging the only thing that's happening when I try and do that is that I hurt my hand but as you see it's a great tripod it's a uh, oops that wasn't planned anyway is four clips all maintainable so that's a five sectional leg got cold uh, rubber here for cold weather a three section angled system where you can stretch the leg out right to 90 degrees for extra load shooting just get the bag so they also provide you with a small column so it allows you to take out the middle column of the tripod when you have the legs spread out at 90 degrees it's sitting right practically on the ground you insert this small column and that way your camera is also sitting low so it's perfect for macro photography or any low level uh, photography you want to do or video work without including any handheld work which will include camera shape as you saw, I also used my slider. The slider is incredibly heavy. A travel tripod is not really designed to hold slide, uh, sliders. I, when I use my slider, have to use the two tripods I have to stabilize it. This tripod, travel tripod, small tripod, managed to do it on its own. That is a big plus for me. If I was doing video work and traveling, everything is I'm able to do everything with this one tripod so overall it's a pretty good tripod are there any cons if I was to really nitpick I could say that this is plastic but it's strong it doesn't need to be metal it's unnecessary um, I don't there's nothing really I can nitpick about the tripod to be honest what about the bag bag well constructed ballistic nylon enough pockets to suit you an internal compartment that comes out a spare bag should you want to strap your tripod underneath or should you want to tuck the tripod away uh, it has a compartment there that's reinforced at the bottom to hold the tripod and not have any detrimental impact to the bag so what else it's got these leather uh, tags which allow easy grip especially in cold weather you can get hold of it uh, nicely padded neoprene shoulder area and rain cover included uh, to be honest I'm not going to nitpick on any of the but, uh, tripod or the bag because the, there, it's a positive innovative piece of kit and if I had my way I'd get it straight away because it would be perfect for me traveling lightweight flexible very sturdy and with a bag that hides it away what more can I say if you're a travel tra travel photographer I definitely give the Veil 235 a B travel tripod a quick look over because I'm sure you'll be impressed as I am They've got a number of uh, tripods on the site, but this one 
it's going to come out an impressive, a very reasonable £139.99. Now I'm going to click over to the next page where you see their bags and this is the Veil 37 and this comes in at £49.99. Now this was marked recommended retail price from their website at £69.99. So if you want a bag with a tripod and you want to get it at a good price, well it's reasonable anyway, but an even better price, I'd, I'd have a look at their website now because it's on. it looks like it's been reduced and for that price, it's a very good value. Anyway, once again, the Veo 235AB travel tripod for £134.99 and the Veo 37 currently at £49.99 from the Vanguard World website. Check it out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you watch this video, you see how impressive the tripod is and how clever the bag is. Anyway, I'm Jean. Thanks for looking and I appreciate your time. And please do subscribe and give me a thumbs up. As always, thanks guys and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Well, I hope you liked the video. And if you want all the updates and when new videos come out, please do subscribe. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.